what's going on guys got another video for you today the focus is on Cassidy with his recent buff to mana reverse Cassidy got a recent buff snipers got a buff and I feel that those three things in conjunction makes this a very consistent and strong composition I would say it's it's high a like a plus it'd be low end of s tier if i were to put it on the tier list the the concept behind it is a, a chain cc as it has the ability to chain cc a whole team between cassidy ash rakan shinzao lulu they have a tendency to have cassidy oh this arm Rakan knock up and then ash arrows and chain stuns a team and while the team is being stunned casting is just recycling his his ult to do again so the come having that ability is strong especially they have to deal with Jin's insane output especially with bloodthirster or ie and guardians angel I've been doing more hex tech revolver on my characters opposed to bloodthirster situations because the fact that they're able to get the AD health but also get health from insane spell damage from Jin. Jin is able to sustain himself and by a lot with that. But also Rayla is able to sustain herself on top of the celestial synergy themselves so the team has a life stealing benefit in it so the items you usually go for are you'll get a lot of chain chain mail and bf swords seeing that guardian angel is very strong right now you want to prioritize swords and shield and not shields uh chain vest in your carousels Due to the nerf to the Morellos and uh, Red Buff, which they have nerfed it by three percent, but it still has you some utility in it. You just have to work work it a certain way. Um, I forgot to mention that Lulu has a very strong place in this team on top of giving Mystic, but also contributing to the team's idea of chain cc so you usually hyper roll or slow roll around level five for like shinzao and rakan in this comp you rush into level seven which is good because everybody's rushing to seven or eight now so you ref you avoid the drawback of level five slow rolling because your comps won't have the shortcoming of two of the three members so at five level five your percentage of seeing a cost of three is 35 percent and your two cost is 35 percent but the reason why you rest a seven is because your probability of three cost is 40 percent so a whole five percent makes a, a bigger difference it's more consistent and you don't have that drawback of having a weaker team and the way you would go for the rush to seven is you aim to get your 50 gold by level five and any excess gold you'll roll down to level 50 or slow roll that gold into your leveling and once you get level seven then you'll just slow roll until you find your castings you better pick up your aurelias you better pick up your gens your whole cut will be in range except for lulu but once you if you don't once you don't have lulu you can just switch lulu out for blitzcrank Blitzcrank is a strong utility champ in that he has a stun and then when you add Zephyr to him, he just takes a whole other character out of the match for three seconds. So he takes out two characters by himself. So in that scenario of though those that are slow rolling, you're able to punish them a lot harder because Blitzcrank is already taking a five member team and knocking them down to three compared to your seven. And in that case, when you have seven, you might not have karma. It all depends if you have karma or gen, they're interchangeable. You might just have karma with no gen, and you might just play 
this right here. But if you have Jin, you'd be level, this is level eight. Once I add Jin, wherever you, he, he's ducking me. So but once you have Jin, then your comp goes back to the, the potential. So, and it's not bad. It's also strong because during the time you're slow rolling, you're getting closer to level eight faster and you're saving a lot more money in turn opposed to level five where your, your drawback is you're behind and then you're dumping a lot of money to catch up to everybody else because there, be, there might be a situation where you're bleeding or you've committed to too hard to the, the slow roll at five and now you're at a deficit but this at seven is a very sustainable and stable position to be in and you have a tendency to have stronger comps so like once again i said this comp is consistent i feel it's strong it gets you guaranteed top four once played correctly once you get the proper items you need uh so remember the, the final comp is lulu Cassidy is a three star and if you enjoyed the video if it was edifying to you uh, appreciate it like comment subscribe i appreciate those that support the channel Cassidy and mordekaiser have been recent projects of mine I'm trying to push them as much as I can. They're two of my favorite champions in the, the, the league lore. So the Mordekaiser video will be linked after this video. So if you want to check it out, just click it. It'll take you right to where you need to go. And I appreciate all those that watched. And I'll see you guys next time.